What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New in TW. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the iCast coverage that we provided. If you missed out, definitely go back, check in on the iCast page, you can see all the new products. You can watch all the full interviews we did. You can check out all the new stuff that's coming out over the next year. Some of it's available to pre-order, some of it's already in stock and available to buy now. But let's go into some stuff that's just came into stock the last few weeks and we just wanted to go over with the new products that we just got in. So the first one here from Mega Bass. Super cool little bait. This is the Karashi Twitch Bait. Now, when I saw this thing on the website and I didn't write the, the description on this one so I didn't know how small this thing was. Pulled it out of the package. Tiny, tiny little bait. I believe it's like two, two and a half inches long. Uh, this is a really unique bait, especially if you're fishing maybe some cl more clear water or you're fishing some highly pressured situation. This bait, it kind of works like a, like your standard walking style bait, so it twitches back and forth, but it actually is a slow sinking bait. So you can sink this thing down and twitch it, and it, it almost resembles, you know, like a, like a traditional walking bait, or you get that kind of like a soft jerk bait style action, like a, like a fluke or something like that. It just kind of darts around side to side, and it comes back up to the surface and then slowly sinks down. This is a deadly looking little bait and I'm super excited to try it out. You know, maybe spinning rod on some light line. This is gonna catch a ton of fish. Um, another thing people are doing with it is you can actually do a steady retrieve with it and just slowly reel it and it's just gonna go right across the surface and it's like a super finesse wake bait type of action. Just something different the fish haven't seen before and because of the size of it, you're gonna catch a ton of fish with this bait. Super pumped to try that out from Mega Bass. The next one, another totally unique bait. Uh, we've been waiting for this one to come in for a long time from Lunker Hunt. This is the Boshi Blade uh, Underspin Jerk Bait. Uh, nothing like this out there on the market. So uh, the only bait I've ever seen that's kind of, you know, this profile and, and setup. So kind of a hybrid between multiple baits in one. Um, it's, you know, got the body of kind of like a crankbait and a jerkbait in one and it has a, an underspin blade on the bottom. One thing to note on this underspin blade, it's actually made out of polycarbonate material. You know, that, that hard plastic, uh, same material that they're making the, the crankbait body out of instead of a metal blade, just to get it to balance and swim the way they want it to. So on a steady retrieve, you can swim this thing and it's gonna have a you know nice wide wobbling action and that blade's gonna spin, it's gonna counter rotate and it's just gonna get a ton of vibration due to the fact that it's a big bait and that blade's just gonna add flash and vibration to the, to the action of the crankbait itself. But you can also fish it just like a jerk bait. You can twitch it and with the shape of this thing, it darts, it does hard 180 turns side to side and you get a tremendous, you know, wide jerkbait style of action out of this thing. So especially if you're out there, you know, live scope and looking at fish out there suspended, everyone's throwing jerk, it, the jerkbaits more and more and more these days. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit different, something fish have definitely never seen before, Boshi Blade is going to be one to try out. Bunch of really cool colors. They have matching uh, colors on the blades there since they're plastic, they're able to paint them, matching up with the baits. Super, super sharp hooks, just something that's totally out there, um, you know, just catching the fish off guard. N last little hard bait we got here. This one's from Arc. So the T-Mark Z Flat, uh, flat Sided Crankbait. This is a really cool flat sided crankbait. When I was checking it out, pulling it out of the package, you can immediately notice how heavy the weight transfer system is inside this thing. So uh, one of the things that people always struggle with with flat sided crankbaits is the castability of them and they're traditionally a little bit lighter weight than a normal crankbait. Uh, with this super heavy weight transfer in there, you can feel it shift side to side. I mean, it's a ton of weight that's shifting down from the head down to that tail. So you get great casting distance out of it and it's balanced that it still has a slow float to it. So uh, you can fish this thing really fast, really aggressively. It's gonna have a you know a nice tight wobbling action and you're gonna be able to still go through really heavy cover, bounce off stuff, and then when you really need to, especially if you're going over a limb or something, you can stop it, pause it, get that slow float, go over it, continue retrieve and not hang up. Uh, on the front here, got a circuit board bill on there. It's uh, kind of rounded or squared off on the edges. It is kind of a hybrid square bill shape, but this thing is gonna deflect great off cover. And with that circuit board bill on there, it's gonna dive quickly, get down to running depth a lot quicker than a thicker plastic bill. Uh, super, super sharp hooks. Uh, didn't even wanna mess with this thing, pulling out of the package. It's those super sharp, you know, slit gray coated hooks, premium split rings. So if you're looking for a tournament crank, you don't have to upgrade any of the hardware, ready to fish right out of the box. Okay. Got a new one from Z-Man. This one we're pretty pumped about because it's only available here at Tackle Warehouse. So if you're familiar with 
our custom series of Chatterbaits. We're now offering that in the, uh, the Z-Men Naked Series uh, custom Chatterbait head. So these are sold in a two pack. Um, we got them in green pumpkin, white, and black. Uh, and what, th what this is for is if, uh, especially anglers that want to tie their own skirts, tie their own custom skirt heads on there, you can get that same, you know, Z-Man custom chatterbait that we, everyone in our office fishes it a ton. It's a phenomenal vibrating jig. Uh, but if you want to tie your own skirt on there, uh, there's a certain color you want, now you set, they sell them naked in a two pack, put your own skirt on there. Or if you just want to fish a soft plastic on there, if you're fishing more clear water situations or there's a lot of pressure from other anglers, sometimes taking that skirt off just changes up the presentation a little bit, kind of finesse it down a little bit and get a lot more bite. So another great option there from Z-Man. All right, new worm from Reaction Innovations. Anytime something comes out from Reaction, we're usually pretty stoked about it. So because so many anglers have requested this over the years, Reaction Innovations finally made it. So we got a new uh, bigger size, the fat flirt worm. So if you're not familiar with the flirt worm, I believe we sell it in a four and a half and a six and a half, somewhere in that range of four and six inch worms. And they're deadly finesse worms. And now there's a bigger model of that existing worm. You know, same body, it has that signature reaction reverse ribbing up here on the head. So you have a nice head section that's gonna hold hooks really well and not tear up and blow out, especially when you're using uh, like bigger shaky heads and stuff. And then they got that patented kind of fin tail design on there. So this thing gets a super enticing action. You can fish it on like your Magnum shaky heads. Uh, you can fish on Carolina rigs, especially. That's gonna be great for the summertime if you're out fishing ledges still uh, and you wanna have that bigger worm profile and do something a little bit different than like a traditional curly tail, what everyone wants to throw. Uh, you know, that straight tail worm gonna be a little bit more finessey, gonna get you a couple more bites, especially when it's tough. Uh, the plastic in this material, uh, when you fish it on a shaky head, it's gonna float tail up, and then you can also run this thing as a floating worm. So, I mean, a lot of the times in the springtime, especially early pre-spawn, a lot of guys like to run that floating worm. This is gonna be a new option for you from Reaction Innovations. And of course, comes in a bunch of the awesome Reaction Innovations colors. I mean, they've come up with some awesome colors over the years, so this is gonna be a great worm to add to the tackle box. All right, a couple little soft plastics here from A3 Anglers. Um, these are gonna be more your finesse soft plastics. So we got the their little uh, better netter worm. Uh, this little guy, you know, it's got that solid head on the front and then the heavy ribbing tail on the back. So solid head's gonna hold those jig heads on there really, really well. And they're not gonna get torn up as bad as, uh, as some of the more like heavily ribbed soft plastics. And these are actually made out of a 10X uh, Dura Tough or Dura, Dura Tough style, like 10X Tough style plastic. So super, super strong. You can catch a ton of fish on them and they, they're, uh, they're not gonna get beaten up as bad as some of like the heavily salted plastics. This better netter worm's got that flat head on it. So it mates up perfectly with just about any of your favorite little Ned Rig, uh, Ned Rig jig heads. And that little uh, fork tail on the back, I mean, cause it's heavily ribbed and there's not a lot of material in there it gets a ton of action with, with very little movement. You can set this thing on the bottom and that tail is gonna move on its own. I've actually been running this thing as a trailer on a little small micro finesse swim jig. So something just, uh, just another thing you can add to the arsenal if you're throwing little, little small swim jigs, great little, you know, kind of uh, more finessey style trailer you can do with it. All right, a couple more options here we got from A3 Anglers. We got their tab tail craw and then we got the tab tail grub. So on this little craw bait, you know, dynamite little crawbait, gonna be good for, you know, your Ned Rig jig heads. You can fish it on a drop shot and then all those little finesse jigs. I mean, uh, you know, finesse flipping jigs, finesse football jigs. Uh, the the little, little ribs on here, you know, gonna move a lot of water. It's got that reverse ribbing, kind of like the, the Reaction Innovations does, so it pushes water. And then the tails, they got those tab tails and then they got that extra plastic around the outside. So it's gonna move and kick and push a lot of water. Just a sweet little crawbait, especially when the fish and stuff that's gonna be one you need. And then something just a little bit different of a little bit different style of a grub, their new tab tail grub. So instead of your um, standard curly tail grub, has that same body up in the front, but it's got that tab tail, um, that kind of that little flapper, just like the craw does. So it's gonna have a little bit different swimming action. It's made to fish uh, with the tail up. Uh, just gets awesome little bait fish profile. You can fish it on a jig head. You can fish it on a drop shot. Do all kinds of little, uh, things with this. It's gonna catch a ton of fish. It's, you know, that real small size. You can probably catch crappie with this, uh, you know, bass. If you're fishing ponds or if you're just at a spot where the fishing's tough and there's a lot of anglers, uh, I mean, going down to the finesse stuff is definitely the way to go. So a bunch of new options from A3 anglers. All right, 
if you're running a 360 on your boat and you need something uh, for that, that sonar mount, uh, Big Rig Bassin's got a new solution out there for you. So Big Rig Bassin's come out with this uh, 360 sonar quick disconnect mount. So uh, the problem that a lot of guys are running into with those 360 mounts is they're, they're mounted up onto the front of the trolling motor. And if you need to take it off, if you're running in you know, uh, uh, super rough water or you're trying to travel with the boat cover on, you have to, you know, unbolt the whole thing and it's a kind of a pain to, you know, act, get the tools out, unbolt everything, and then whenever you get to where you're going, bolt it back on or make or to, to make any adjustments on it. If you want to, uh, maybe if you're in super shallow water, you need to move it up or move it down, uh, this quick disconnect is going to be the way to go. So they sell the mount and then we also have kits as well, um, I believe for the, hum uh, the, the Minn Kota, the Ultrex and Lorant, or the Minn Kota Ultrex, Lawrence and then the Garmin trolling motor. So depending on what trolling motor you have, uh, they have a kit for you as well. So super easy. It's got these heavy duty clamps on here. Uh, this thing's, it's all aluminum, so it's super lightweight, but really, really strong. It's not gonna add a bunch of weight to your trolling motor. Comes with stainless steel mounting hardware and the clamps are super heavy duty as well. When you get that 360 arm on there, it locks it in place and it's not going anywhere. Uh, they got markers on there that you can put on the actual uh, the 360 sonar uh, shaft itself. So you can have a mark, a reference point so you can line it up. It's gonna be perfectly straight every single time. You don't have to worry about you know, sitting there messing with it and getting it to line up the way that you want it to. So they got the markings on there to make it easy for you. So if you're running a Hummingbird 360 and you need that quick disconnect mount, Big Rig Bassin has got you covered. Last up from G. Loomis, got a new inshore rod. So if you do kind of some multi-species fishing, this is gonna be one you wanna check out. The new GCX Inshore. We got them in casting and spinning. We actually have a bunch of different spinning models. I believe we have 10 or 10 or 11 different models and we have everything from, you know, small rods that will handle, you know, like small trout and stuff like that, all the way up to, I believe we have an eight foot extra heavy spinning rod that uh, people use for tarpon and other, you know, big, uh, big game species like that um, on the blank. So they're using multi-tapered design and an advanced resin system on here. So it's a super, super tough blank that can take uh, that can take impacts and take the abuse of going inshore fishing. So it's gonna be a lot, uh, a lot more durable and really strong rod that's gonna last you years and years and years. And it's made to go, you know, fish in the salt water, fish in fresh water, you know, all different types of environments, handle big fish and be, able, and be a reliable rod for you. Uh, down on the handle, it's got a full premium cork handle uh, Fuji reel seats on here, and then we have a Sea Guide guide chain. So, uh, to get, built to last, be able to hold up in the salt water, those you know, kind of harsh environments. You want those nice guides on there so they're not going to rust on you. It's going to be a nice rod for any of that uh, inshore species of stuff that you're fishing for. No matter if you're on the west coast, east coast, um, there's a rod that's going to be built for any of those inshore species that you need them for from G. Loomis. So, looking for some inshore rods, G. Loomis got a new one. Uh, it's been, uh, they released it a while ago. We finally just got some in stock, so check them out while we still have them. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.